Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Today, in the spirit of Christmas and consumerism, I thought I would talk you through some of my favourite pieces of theatre merchandise that I've picked up. I don't often pick up a mad amount of merchandise when I go to the theatre because I'm very lucky in that I can go to the theatre quite often. So if I did spend a lot at every show that I went to, I would be completely and utterly broke. <laughs> However, obviously over the years I have picked up items and obviously stuff that I really like, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. So I just thought today I would show you that. My list is in no particular order. It's kind of just what came to mind when I was writing the list. At the top of my list is a very recent purchase. I literally bought it last weekend when I went to Hamilton in London and it's the Skylar Sisters t-shirt that I picked up. I saw a photo of this from like the first preview night when people were posting photos of the merchandise and I knew immediately, I was like, I am going to buy that top. I don't often buy theatre tops, um, just because, but this one I really liked and obviously it's got the sisters on and I was like, if I'm gonna wear something from Hamilton, Obviously, I want it to be the ladies of the show. I mentioned this in the Hamilton vlog, but I love that this top is like gray, not white, because I think white t-shirts, they're just gonna get dirty so easily, whereas gray, at least you can hide it a little bit more. And it's really comfortable and the fitting is really nice. So yeah, I'm very happy with this purchase. Next on my list, it's the tankard that I picked up from half a sixpence. I think tankard is the right word. It's like, oh no, a beer stein, that's the word. The half a sixpence beer stein that I bought on the final day of the show in the West End. I saw their matinee, the last matinee of the show. RIP. They'd pretty much run out of all of their merchandise at this point, apart from the beer steins and the souvenir brochures. So yeah, I was like, I need to buy something. So I bought a beer stein. Ironically, I've not used the beer steins to drink out of. I just use them for decorative purposes. So they're both on my desk. One has fairy lights in it. And it's just a nice little decorative feature. And the other one, it's just got like, Loads of miscellaneous crap in it. <laughs> I do love that they were selling beer steins because obviously there are scenes in the show where they're they're drinking and it just, it, it made sense to have them. So yeah, I'm happy to have those. <laughs> Jumping from one random piece of merchandise to another. Next on my list is the note, the wicked note that I picked up at the Broadway flea market. This is signed by Rachel Tucker and Jonah Platt, who I saw as Elphaba and Fierro when I saw Wicked um, on Broadway in 2015. I picked up the note at the 2017 Broadway flea market because that's the only flea market that I've been to so far. Yeah, it was quite fun to find that. And it was expensive. It was, I think, $40. Whoops. I've yet to find a frame for it, but I do want to frame it and put it up on my wall because I think it's a really cool thing to have. On the sort of wicked theme, the next thing on my list, it's not necessarily theatre merchandise, but it's like theatre related products and it's my Zeotart posters. My boyfriend bought me the Apollo Victoria seating plan for my birthday and then when I won the Theatre Community Awards, they'd partnered up with Zeotart to do the prizes, so I picked the Gershwin Theatre because I thought it would make sense to have the two wicked theatres next to each other. So yeah, these are really lovely minimalist seating plan posters and I've got those in frames on my walls, currently wrapped in tinsel to make it a bit more festive. I love these, I think they're so classy and especially with like all the black frames on my walls, everything just looks so cool and I really recommend it as a gift for a theatre lover if you know there's a specific theatre that they love. It's such an easy gift, I know that sounds a bit bad, but you you know that it's something different that they've probably not seen before. It's like unique and it's special and they're lovely. I love them. Jumping away from Wicked for just a second, I have an American in Paris uh, Christmas, well, it's a bauble, I guess it's Christmassy. I first saw it in March when I saw an American in Paris and I didn't purchase it. It was sent to my workplace and my manager wasn't really fussed. It was just sat in the office for ages and so I, I just asked, can I have it if no one else wants it? 
And they're like, yeah, sure, go for it. I love the gradient on the bauble from like the blue down to sort of clearer blue and also the obviously painting-esque picture on there. I just think it's a very pretty bauble. It's nice to have something stagey on my tree. <laughs> Hopping back over to Wicked, um, I have some really random Wicked stuff and one day I will sit down and film a video showing you all of my Wicked stuff because I think that would be ridiculous and hilarious to do. But something I got recently was, again, through work, <laughs> with some of the rebranding that Wicked has gone through recently. So with um, the new photos of Alice Fern, they sent us these mouse mats. <laughs> and I don't use like a mouse. I have a laptop, it's got a trackpad, so I don't use a computer mouse. But I saw this and I was like, if there's a spare one, please can I take it home because that is so cool. Alice Fern isn't like my favorite alphabet, but still this mouse mat is so cool. I love it. And it's got like the calendar on it, 2018 calendar, including like all the school holidays and stuff like that. Not that I need to know when the school holidays are, but it's handy to have that sort of little calendar there as well. So it's just so random and I love it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Next on my list, I've got a shot glass from Once the Musical. I can't remember if I picked this up when I went to Dublin in 2015 or if it was in the West End. I feel like it might have been Dublin that I picked it up. For some shows that do shot glasses, it's just the clear shot glasses with some branding on, but I just liked how this one was like, silver and different i liked it i love as well the lyrics that it has on it it's i i love this show i love this show so much and there are a lot of lyrics in the show that really like hit me and yeah i really liked the one they chose for the shot glass so it says i'm gonna be me i'm gonna be free that's not how it's said in the show that's not how it goes at all but yeah i just really liked that the next thing on my list isn't something i bought but it was something that we were given and this was at the 10th anniversary show of wicked it's quite rare to get free stuff at shows so when i got to my seat and there were just i think it was yeah under the seats that all the posters were and i was like oh my god free stuff <laughs> so yeah it's just the the normal wicked branding but obviously it says i think celebrating 10 years or something like that and it's just a fun little thing to have i am tempted to get that framed and put it up on my wall but i don't know if that's a bit geeky again the next thing that i have is unfortunately not something you can buy but it is sort of like a souvenir from a show and this is from urine town which i saw at the well it's the other palace, but when it was known as the St. James and also at the Apollo Theatre. And it's the money that they had in the show. Obviously it's set in like a dystopian version of America. Um, so it looks like a normal like dollar bill, not a single dollar, I think it's a hundred dollars. Um, but it says it's got like the name of, I can't remember his first name. The like bad guy in the show who's obviously rich and owns all the money. It's got his name on it. It's so fun to have stuff like that from a show because I'll go through my things and I'm like, oh, what's this? American currency. And I'm like, oh no, that's just from here in town. The last thing on my list is again, not merchandise, but sort of memorabilia, a souvenir more a souvenir and it's my um lanyard and pass from when i worked at the olivier awards in 2016. i peaked definitely peaked <laughs> i worked with um society of london theater over christmas 2015 and also into the olivier's period and yeah i worked at the olivier's i was doing um, photography in Covent Garden and like monitoring social media and things like that and it was just really cool and I, I sometimes just forget that it happened and then I find my lanyard again and I'm like wow I worked at the Olivier's it's just really cool well there we have it 10 of my favorite pieces of theater merchandise and memorabilia and souvenirs i'd love to know in the comments uh what your favorite pieces of merchandise either that you've you own or you've seen i'd love to know i i find that now with theater vlogging i pay so much more attention to the merchandise whenever i go to a show because obviously i want to show it to you guys as well um, but I know there's definitely some shows that I've just totally blanked and not really 
not really seen their merchandise at all. So yeah, let me know what your favorite bits of theatre merchandise are. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me in the future. I make lots of theatre content and because it's currently Vlogmas, I'm putting up a video every day, which is exhausting, but fun. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of my madness. I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.